Hello and welcome to the fifth video lecture series of Helm Chart. Today we will see how we can use a Helm dry run command for debugging the Helm Chart. So one question may be coming in your mind if we have done Helm lint and Helm template then why we are going for dry run. So that answered I, we will get a clear idea when we will do the lab. Along with that verbally if I will say this is our advanced version of helm lint and helm template. Helm lint we do for like if we have syntax error and all and helm templates if you will do you can validate and verify as well like whatever values you have provided in the chat conf in the helm chat configuration either it is correct or not before going for the deployment and uh, this is advanced version of helm template because in which what you are doing when you will write this command helm install dry run debug so it will do what like if you want to if you want to deploy if you want if you don't want to deploy on the production server okay but still you want like if you still want to test your code okay okay so if you will write this command and you will execute so it will go to your uh, kubernetes api server it will validate and verify but it will this time not create any resources it will again come back and return success values right so in earlier phase what we were doing we were validated validating the code on the first side itself right and this kubernetes is the next side where you will deploy your code and but in this helm dry run we are uh, we are actually we are actually getting ready for the real time environment okay means without any deployment we are running this helm install dry run it is going to it is going and attack attacking the kubernetes api server and it is validating our code there and it is returning some success status so that what are the benefits of that so it will save your time during the release because you are doing the pre deployment check and second it will debug it will help you to debug and fix your chart before the actual deployment right so instead of checking in the first side you are checking on this api server without installing so like this way it will help you so let's go to the lab section and let's have a clear idea if you if you're still confused we will go to the lab and we will see so let's go so let's go ahead and let's okay let me log into the server so here i'm using single node cluster for minikube okay and i have installed uh, helm as well earlier so if you want to do the lab please install and please check out my previous video so that you will know how to install and what are the prerequisites you have to follow so i'm becoming the sudo user let me check if any helm releases are there already or not helm list so i don't have any so let's see let's do ls and we do not have any helm chart right now so let's go ahead and create so what is the command helm hello world enter so it is creating okay let's list so here we got this helm chart let's see its structure hello world so okay so this is your helm chart you are getting your chart.yml which is used for your maintaining your configuration values and all what is the name of this chart what is the version which you are currently using this is the second template folder which is containing your deployment.yml your service.yml your service account.yml along with the services whatever services you are using here and you are getting the third most important values.yml where you are variableizing all the things which is present in your templates folder so this is done now our task is to uh, our task is to let's be uh, without deploying this helm chart i just want to hit the uh, kubernetes server okay and get the output either it is running really correct on the server or are we facing any issues okay so let me type the command helm install and here you have to provide the release name right if you are installing so let's give it some name along with that you have to type your 
dry run okay debug and along with that what is the name of your helm chart that is hello world right just hit enter okay so this is the one which you got some response okay so if you will go up so you can see here the status of your my release is right now pending install means it is not yet installed right so it it went to the q it went to the kubernetes api server it hits and it validate and verified either our code is running well on well or not on our cluster and it is returning our status you can see this is the status you will get when it is successful okay so you can see you are getting all your things like what are the computed values you have and along with that what are the hooks you are using your test connection your service.yml your service account.yml and your this deployment.yml so it is going there and it is hitting and it is coming back and it is uh, returning a success message to us okay so so that is how you can go ahead and check uh, pre go ahead and check uh, the validation of your uh, deployments before de before going for pro pre-production so once this is done let's see do we have any revision or not so how to check the revision helm list hyphen a so right now i don't have any revision right but you can see here in the top okay revision equals to one means it is not a revision means it is just went ahead and got went to the kubernetes api server and it's just came back with a status like this is a pending install and it just verified our all the code okay so let's go ahead and let's uh, now uh, have a let's install the helm chart helm install when it is when it is working fine then we can go ahead and create R E L E C my release and what is the helm chart name hello world we gave right just hit enter now again you got status equals to deployed this time because we have verified on our actual server and this time revision equals to one so let's see list of our revision um, list okay typo so this time you have a revision you have a this version as well right so if you are using this is the important thing i would like to discuss with you if you are using dry dry run and debug command then that time your uh, kubernetes cluster server should be up then and only you will get this output otherwise it will not hit your server right because that will be unreachable correct so like this uh, we have seen how to use this uh, helm debug okay and if you want to get more idea in this please follow my channel and please comment if you are getting any issues thanks for watching